look at the number of mobile phones, we look at the penetration of internet uh, in the households around Barbados, we are the number three in the Western Hemisphere when it comes to access to the internet and, and all access to technology. But I'm a little concerned that we're not always using it in a manner that leads to the highest level of productivity in this society. And I really think we can do better. And part of the challenge that I see, and let me speak to the younger people in particular just quickly on this point. You know, I have two sons and they've grown up in a technological world where all the gadgets are set. And quite often we as parents are apt to say to our children, put down the cell phone, put down the PSP, put down the game station, whatever it is. I simply want to make a suggestion, which is that we don't just do that. We appreciate that in those cases, using this technology, we may be fostering and developing the next Bill Gates, the next Mike Zellig, whatever, the way to the new technologies we're going to do. Everything must come with balance. I'm not saying that we don't tell them to read and write and do the arithmetic, etc. That's quite important. We have a very good education system, second to none. And I want to thank Ms. Motley for her leadership in education over the years. Thank you, Ms. Motley, where are you? Um, but, you know. But of course, to be true to my party and my friends, I have to thank every husband as well for continuing the good work. Uh, but why is the fundamentals of the education system must remain intact? We must ensure that our young people have access to the technology as well that they can use in a very positive manner. And as we go further up the line, as we look towards the future, I would like to see a Barbados that is truly technologically driven, one that appreciates the value in those who opted to go into that discipline. We have in our society today one that still believes that there is a premium to be placed on those who enter the fields of medicine or law. And no offense to my friends and family gathered who are in those professions. We still believe as a society that we can look on from a little distance with those who go into the technology field. I want to suggest to you, ladies and gentlemen, that part of the bright future of Barbados lies in us making or creating the opportunities where our young, bright boys and girls, the university, wherever, can see and appreciate and, and really grab hold of the future that lies in being programmers, being developers, whether it's websites, other things, uh, the security surveillance people, the systems uh, administrators, and even hackers, because there's no good money in being a hacker if you do it legitimately. Um, but the reality about it is that we must really and truly now say to our young people there is a bright future in technology. Entity is going to allow you to carry their name, you know, global enterprise will allow you to carry their name unless they are very satisfied that you are serious and that you can truly represent all that they stand for. And I think we in Barbados are very blessed to have several entities that represent com global companies in a manner in which those global companies are very proud of what we're doing here. So I certainly want to thank you, Kalesh, for, for leading in that respect and certainly uh, for ensuring that Barbados fly fly side as you travel around the world. You certainly have had your challenges over the last 15 years. Um, perhaps you can write or rewrite the World Bank report on doing business in Barbados. I'm not going to get into that this evening. This is not the time and place and certainly not the environment. I will certainly have the time to do that um, sometime in Parliament on Friday or next week. Both my good friend Ms. Motley who will support me um, and, and, and other colleagues as we debate some of these issues. But the simple reality about it, ladies and gentlemen, is that in Promotech, we have an opportunity to see the latest in technology and to see it at work. Some of you, when you visit the store here this evening, and some of us will visit before and do it again, will perhaps see some fanciful hardware. But some of us will also see the tools that are necessary in helping us to do business a lot easier tools that help us to connect to the real world up there. And to me that is very important. But it's also important for me as a minister or for us on the public sector side 
to recognize that if we are going to be a lot more serious about making it easier for individuals to do business with the state, then the state has to embrace and deploy the latest in technology. And quite frankly, it is not nice to know that people have to spend hours standing in line to pay a bill to government that we require to pay. And this is not a criticism of any ministry of the state. The simple reality about it is that the state has to do better and do more at the utilization and deployment of technology within the public apparatus. And five years ago in Miami, uh, he wanted to open a HP store in Barbados. So uh, I did not really know him uh, back then, so I asked him, yes, do you have money? Are you rich? Can you <laughs> So, but actually, uh, I did not think he took it as a joke. I was joking, you know, I'm not that material, okay? So, so he quickly invited me to, uh, to Barbados, and very seriously and diligently, uh, he showed me what he got, you know, and tried to convince me that he's the guy who is, should partner with HP. Um, at that time, he had two stores. Uh, he took me to his house to show that he has a nice house, okay? And he took me to, to meet his mother, <laughs> Mrs. Nita Partasani and we, uh, and we had dinner with his wife. I, I actually, so I took the opportunity in the dinner to interview his wife. So uh, I learned that uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Pritika Kalash uh, was from New York. Actually, she was, uh, she was raised in Hong Kong. She's original from India. And uh, she's well traveled. She's very smart. She's very beautiful. And, um, and she's very business savvy. That's very hard to find for, for a wife, you know. So, so I say, if this woman, this smart, beautiful, business savvy woman, uh, would come all the way from that part to join Kalashi in Barbados, I think this guy must have something, you know. I don't know about it. So, uh, so, so I say, you know, I should maybe give him a chance, you know. You know, there, there shouldn't be, you know, I. I so I made the decision, you know, to have uh, Kalash to be our HP partner in the island and to build the HP store. Well, now five years later, uh, Promotech has five locations. When I came here too, uh, Kalash has not disappointed me or HP. Uh, Kalash has shown uh, me and HP that he got what it takes to be a business partner of HP. <coughs> HP, uh, we are the world's largest IT company. HP has uh, stores, uh, HP stores in Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Trinidad, and Curaçao. Uh, Promotech HP store in Barbados is the most successful one. It's the one store that I'm most proud of. It. It's the most beautiful one. It's the most successful one. So I'm very, very happy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. HP is very happy with work from Promotech team. Yes, and proud to have Promotech as our business partner. HP is number one in the in printer and PC in the world. And Promotech's hard working team helped grow HP business number one in Barbados. As an overall, we, we, we have the biggest business in that. But thank you for, 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 for Promotech team in Kalash. Yeah. Okay. Um, my father has been a hidden inspiration for me. He passed at a very young age but left me under the great care of my mom and with excellent life values to build on as, as well as a very, very hard working mentality. This in turn helped me to focus on major family responsibilities and the birth of this wonderful company, Promotech. Lastly, my inspiration, drive to succeed, endless love and support of my wife and kids keeps me on this positive path. So why the name Promotech? It has a true meaning as to, it's basically what we do every single day, guys. Promote technology. Foresight 15 years ago contributed to the birth of Promotech. Our name will always have substance for decades to come as technology revolves around our lives and our lives around technology. If you doubt me at all, just count how many computers, tablets, and cell phones you guys have at home and at work. <laughs>